My name is Ryan Stewart. I'm Howie Ritter. I'm Joel Marquez. I'm Marissa Exnicious. I'm Lucy Ibarra. And I'm Luke Beasley. And we are Team Nacho Libre. Project Science seeks to discover what kind of life can live in near space environments and how UV radiation affects these microorganisms. The goal of this mission is to gain insight on how these organisms are capable of surviving in such harsh environments. We hope that this mission can give us data that it could be used for future space technologies and advancements in the field of genetics. So for CONOPS, first of all, we have launch where we'll turn on our switches and camera. Then our first petri dish opens at 10 kilometers and then it closes at 11 kilometers. Our second petri dish opens at 20 kilometers and closes at 21 kilometers. The balloon ruptures at 30 kilometers. The payload descends, we recover it, and then post-launch we have culturing and data analysis. So for our design, we have a 24 by 24 centimeter uh, square base, and then we have all of our required components inside the box, and then we'll have two compartments on either side where we'll house our mechanism. Our mechanism is comprised of a servo with a gear that will mesh with a gear rail that will push the door open at the specified altitudes. So for our FBD, on the top left we have our heater, which is powered by three 9-volt batteries, and we control it with a switch, and we have an LED light to tell the status of it. We have our camera, which is powered by a lithium-ion battery, and it has an SD card to, hold the, to store the, the images. Both of our Arduinos are set up pretty similarly. They each have a 9-volt battery to power them. They each have their own switch, which we can control them with, and then an LED light to tell the status. The first Arduino um, is going to uh, it's going to communicate with the temperature sensors, both the inside and outside. It'll also communicate with the humidity sensor, pressure sensor, and an accelerometer. The second Arduino communicates with both of the servos, as well as the UV sensor and the pressure sensor. And then both of the Arduinos also have an SD card shield and an SD card. We're going to perform several tests before launch, including a drop test where we're going to drop the box from an altitude of about 6 meters and to simulate a hard landing. And then we're going to do a whip test where a team member will spin the box on a string around their head to simulate accelerations experienced during launch. And then we're also going to do a stair test to, and we're going to kick the box down a flight of stairs to get a lot of impacts on different angles to emulate hard landings. And then we're also going to do data testing where we will connect all of our sensors and make sure the data is collecting properly and the SD cards are storing the data. Team Nacho Libre will also conduct a temperature test where the fully integrated box will be placed in a cooler with dry ice in order to simulate the temperatures of the upper atmosphere. This will allow us to test to make sure our components are working properly in the cold environment. Our next two tests are the mechanism soft test and the mechanism hard test. The mechanism soft test will involve building the mechanism on the ground and testing the control conditions, while the mechanism hard test will involve integrating the mechanism into the box and testing it in near flight conditions like the drop test and the whip test. We will also be doing a camera test where the GoPro will be tested to make sure that it's taking pictures and video at the proper intervals. And then we'll be doing an altitude and software test where the box will be integrated with the Arduinos and the mechanisms driven up the Mount Flagstaff trailhead and made sure that it opens the box at the proper intervals. And then our final test is our mission simulation test where we'll integrate the box fully with all the components and we'll drive up to the Flagstaff trailhead again to make sure everything runs smoothly. We haven't completed any of these tests yet, but we have set dates by which they will be completed. By March 12, we will complete the whipped, stair, and drop test. By March 19, the data test and soft mechanism test will be completed. And by April 2nd, the mechanical hard test, the camera test, altitude software test, and mission sim test will be completed. As far as our expected data goes, our temperature, we expect to drop as we increase in altitude, and this will be due to the thinning of the atmosphere as well as the loss of uh, geothermal heat. And then we also expect our pressure to drop similarly as the, pressure, as the temperature, and we expect it to drop rapidly as we increase in altitude. For humidity, as the altitude increases, the temperature decreases, and colder air tends to retain, mo to retain moisture less, so we're expecting humidity to decrease. As for acceleration, as the balloon rises, we're expecting to see a positive acceleration in the Z direction, with uh, acceleration in the X direction due to spinning. And after the balloon bursts, we're expecting to see negative acceleration in the Z direction, and again spinning in the X direction. As we increase in altitude, we expect to find less microbes due to the harsher environments that they would be living in. Um, we also expect that as we go up in altitude, the UV radiation will also increase because the thinning of the air and less UV radiation being reflected off the atmosphere. There are lots of things that could go wrong and we hope that none of them will. But for this mission, our team's biggest worries are going over the weight limit, 
that our, mechanis that our mechanism will fail and the door won't open on time, or that our petri dishes will get contaminated before they can collect the microbes we need. This was the preliminary design review for Team Nacho Libre. Thank you for your time.